Hi guys, I'm Kaz. Welcome to KK Brothers. Yeah! Alright, so today it's by myself and then Kyle is in Toronto right now and then I'm gonna do some baking. Yeah! Yay! So today what am I gonna make? Make no bake? It's called Dorayaki. It's a Japanese kind of sweet. It's like a pancake, but it has a red bean paste in between it. And then it's pretty sweet, so I'm gonna make the normal like pancake style dryaki and I'm gonna make a bunch of flavor dryaki. Let's see how it's gonna turn out and then we'll see if it's delicious or yummy or not, alright? Let's go! I'll tell the ingredient. This is a, you know, you can buy any country, I think, yeah. Not this brand, but it's pancake mix. And then, mirin! Yay! Mirin. And then I got honey, bunch of powder, I got an egg, and I got red bean, yay! So I got some new, you know, GoPro. Oh. So I just gonna put it like that, so you know, you can see my hand and how I look. Do I look okay? We'll see. I'm gonna check. Alright, I look dope. So I'm gonna film so you guys can see what's going on with my hand too. Let's go! Go man! First thing first, you put on a scale and then you gotta put it in zero and then I need 150 grams of pancake mix. Squishy, squishy. <gasps> alright, I over the 5 gram, but it should be alright, you know. Damn it, I missed it. You don't need powder yet. I forgot, it's a milk. You need the milk. So, I missed it up, so 155 gram of pancake mix. Just set on the side. Let's set on the zero again. What I need mix first? First, I have to crack one egg. Crap one egg. And then I put sugar. I forgot sugar. So I got brown sugar. And then you need a 1 tablespoon or 1.5 gram of sugar. I got 1.5 gram. Damn it, it was 10 grams. Alright, it should be okay, I think. I need mirin. Mirin, I need. It's also 1.5 grams. 1.5, so that's M2. That's M2. It's a 4 gram. And I need milk. 70 grams. 70 grams. Let's go, let's go. 70 grams. Perfect. Okay, I got 70 grams. And then you gotta put. Honey. It also says 1.5 gram. Let's see if I can aim it for 1 gram. I don't need that much sugar anymore. 1 gram. Perfect. It's 1 gram. Turn it off. Now you gotta mix. Mix. Alright. Alright guys, it's mix. Now you got pancake mix. Now you mix. <laughs> Is it that thick? I don't think so. Nah. It's so thick. Okay. Look at that. It's not even dough. This. Alright, I don't care. 20 more grams of milk. Alright, I got 21 grams. Alright, turn it off. Mix. So in total, I got 90 grams of milk. And then let's see how thick it's gonna turn it out. I think it should be more, yeah. Let's do 100 gram of milk. Okay, I got 12 gram. It's alright. So I got 100 gram of milk, and then 1 tablespoon honey, 1.5 gram, 1.5 gram, 1 egg, 150. Looks good to me. What do you guys think? Or what did I do wrong? I don't know. Alright, so this is the base of the first normal dryaki. And then I'm gonna make another dryaki with a matcha powder in it. Yeah! I'm not gonna mess this up. Alright, turn it on.
matcha powder. Yeah! Add a little bit of matcha. You don't need that much. It's too strong, so. Alright, one round. You know, this this macho matcha? This macho matcha. This macho ah. What? This macho matcha. What? Alright, alright. You need that much for the matcha to like make a pretty like beautiful green. Now you got time you got time to mix. That was the other prep you need? Yeah! Now time to bake, bake, cook, whatever you call. Let's go! Alright, now time to cook. Yeah! I got some avocado oil from Costco. You turn it on. Put on the middle heat. So you put the middle and then you put a little oil. Beep. Let's make a normal one first. You gotta wait. Time to wait. Time to wait. Time to wait. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, this is getting warm. Now you turn to the weak. So and then like western side, western side, when you turn it on, it should be five or six. And then when you, when the frying pan is getting hot, like hot as of warm, turn it to a one. Now you gotta grab I don't know half scoop of your you know scoopy scoopy, and then you gotta high up and then drop it. How do you make a circle? I want to make a circle. Okay. Chill, chill boy, chill. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Hey, chill. Are you able to see it? Let me double check. Make like that and then like that. And then, you know, if you see it, it has a little pop, pop, pop. Now it's the time to flip it. I think you know the first first twos are getting getting ready. Oh! So you know. Let's put it on the side. Well, right, while this one's making, let's make a dryaki. Oh! So we got a we got a few pancakes in here. It's you know if you hold it, it's not that this one is hot. All right. So you gotta one scoop or two scoop up to you. Put it on not with your finger, but I'm too lazy now. So use it. And then. Ta-da! Now we got a dryaki! Yeah! Homemade dryaki! It looks so good! Mmm! And we gotta keep making dryaki like that. Put it on. Put it on. And put on a little hat. Alright, so you know, I you should you guys should make the matcha dryaki instead of the normal dryaki. Matcha one looks so much better already. Look at that color. Look at that. The little gleam is perfect. 
smells a little bit matcha too. What? Hot. So the dorayaki is getting easier. And then once it's too hot, you know, turn it off heat to the low. And then you don't have to shake it. I just shake it. It looks cool. Now it's time to make dorayaki. Put it on. Squish it. Like that. Pew! The red bean paste, uh, I mean red bean paste, can use to like eat with a uh, ice cream. I don't know. Anything goes with it. Yeah! I mean, any dessert goes with it. So you wrap it and then you put it in the fridge and it takes like I don't know, two days, three days. So you have a lot of time to eat. All right, now it's time to eat. I replaced it in the place, I got like that. Yeah! If you're eating, you know, dryaki, I need to have uh, something to drink. So, you know what I got? I got some green tea from like something, you know, Japanese authentic way. That's how you say, you know. Now you steam a little bit. Put on a finger on the top. Okay. Now I got ah hot green tea and dryaki. Itadakimasu. You know, dorayaki for me. Mmm. Oh, I can't believe I did this. Wow. It's not too sweet, but all the sweetness comes from the red bean. It tastes like just sweet enough to like eat oh! as a snack or you know even a breakfast. That's really good. It's really good. Alright now, let's try a matcha dryaki. Let's eat on the side first. Look at that. This one looks so good. You gotta do like that for the, you know. Let's see for the taste. If you want to make a dryaki, use a, use a matcha powder to make a dryaki. Oh! It tastes really good. It's really, really good. It's like. It's like, you know, Japanese cafe level good. Oh. Like, I will pay like 5 bucks on this. Never mind, 5 bucks is too expensive. <laughs> 2 or 3 dollars per max, but. It's very really good. Last bite. So, I recommend you eat with the green tea and try and tell me how it guys did, okay? As an individually, so I can eat for tomorrow morning lunch, and I can give it to my mom. 
Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, this is my first time baking or cooking a teriyaki. And uh, tell me how I did and like, tell me if it looks good or not. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching me as an individual. Pretty long video will be. It will be 10 minutes, but you know, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully it goes viral. I will do more cooking channel, cooking, you know, making Japanese dessert. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye bye guys. Bye bye.